Hello, my Disney Genie family. I hope you guys are doing so good. Before we get into today's haul, and I have condensed, I put it in a couple bags here. I also wanted to share with you guys the process of not only like bringing stuff home from the parks, my mobile checkout and all of that, and then like putting it actually in my bag and bring it home with me, but also I shipped a bunch of stuff from the parks and I don't remember what's in this box. To be 100% honest, it has been sitting here ever since it came in, like weeks ago. And I know, I remember two things for sure that are in here. Three things, I think, are in there. I don't really remember, but I'm excited to open it with you guys today. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs of me on my girls' trip and my friends in the parks and everything. We still have more to come. Don't worry, there is still more coming and there's still Hollywood Studios and travel days and you guys were prepping for our next trip at time of filming. We leave in like 25 or 26 days. Like I'm so excited and that's gonna be a totally different trip. It is nine days and um, we're going to all of the parks this time. You guys, you don't know how weird it was for me to, this is my first time ever going to Disney World and not going to Magic Kingdom. So if you're new here and you're just starting to watch the vlogs, I didn't go to Magic Kingdom. It still feels weird to me. It still felt like Disney World. It still felt like home because my last trip was last February and this trip was in May. Um, and now I'm going again back to Disney World in July. So it was it was a little bit of a culture shock when I went to Disneyland in February and I didn't get to film that was before I started my channel. Trust me, we will be going back. You guys will be coming along. Um, but it was my first time like coming home and it just, it felt like home. It wasn't 100% because like I said, we didn't go to Magic Kingdom, but it was wonderful. But I just wanted to take two seconds and just say thank you so much for welcoming me into the Disney community and just your kindness and your support and all of your guys' comments in the in the comments below when you guys leave those comments. I read them and I appreciate them. You guys are so nice. You are so kind to me. I just wanted to take two seconds and just say thank you because seeing your guys' YouTube pages and being able to support you guys, but then also you guys supporting me and just saying such nice things, I just, that sticks with me that I will never forget that I will never forget you guys I know some of you guys now by name and I just really appreciate it so without any more I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you all of my goodies because there's a lot here I also have been shopping pre shopping for our trip and I wanted to show you guys some of the other things that I got um, and I'm gonna try and have links for everything that I can I can't promise anything but I will at least give you every bit of information I can and I will be able to tell you, I believe, in at least which parts of where I got everything um, and potential stores like World of Disney and stuff like that. So let's start first with the bags. I did multiple checkout for this and that's why you kind of see that this Disney Parks bag and not this because when you go ahead and do a mobile checkout, let's say you're at World of Disney and they're doing mobile checkout and that line is for real you guys like you don't have to wait in all that line you can just collect all your things that you want and they can price check them do whatever you need to do talk to them about your DVC discount talk to them you know annual pass discount um disney chase card discount all of, you can still get all of those use gift cards all of those things can be done right at checkout all on your phone um but what they're gonna do is you'll just show them your it's gonna show like a almost like a receipt on your phone and you show them that and then they will go ahead and be like yep here are all the things here's your bag have a great day and there's no line you guys those like mobile checkout people like they're like please let me help you check out like give me something to do so that's what you're gonna see these bags and they still say Disney parks um but that is why they're different from like the classic Disney parks bags. okay so I always I'm gonna start off a little boring I always get a t-shirt and I thought this was so cute. I like to get it a little bit bigger because sometimes I just wear a t-shirt to bed or like some t-shirt and shorts and everything. So I thought this was super comfortable, super cute. They do run true to size. Um, and I believe it's $24.99. I'm super in love with this. Now that I've shown you guys, I can finally actually wear this. And then I was in the hunt for some Disney shoes and I'm not a Crocs person, but these were too cute, you guys. I got these Crocs and I love that they have like the little like metal charms here. Is that not adorable? And look at this one up here too. I just thought these were adorable. 
if I don't only wear these to like the parks for like if we go for just like dinner or like a half a day or just like wandering around like the resort or you know Disney Springs I thought these are gonna be perfect I did go up to my larger size they only come in full sizes I did go up to my larger size in these just because of the fa the fact that your feet swell I bought these um, on our last day so my feet were swollen um, and they were plump full so I was at least able to try them on while I was like at the parks um, and I was able to get these so I thought these were really awesome and like I said I did go up to my larger size which is a nine I'm usually like an eight and a half or so uh, and these were $59.99 and then I know what they're probably made for children but I mean I'm still a child at heart and I think like the Disney Parks jewelry is so cute so this is a really fun one this is going to come with Mickey Minnie Pluto Daisy and Donald and I just think they're really fun they're just like cute little printed I am not a bracelet person the only bracelet I'm <laughs> The only bracelet I wear is my magic band or an Apple watch those in real life even those are the only bracelets like I really truly wear um is only those two things and even my Apple watch I don't wear all the time but I like religiously wear them at the park so I thought earrings necklaces those are my go-to especially the earrings because they don't bother me if I'm hot or anything and these are really really fun these I don't remember the price but they were tan so if you guys are in the parks or you're going to the parks they are tan um, but yeah, this is just like the little Disney park story. And then these I got at World of Disney, um, along with the t-shirt I got at World of Disney. And on that first day at Disney Springs, I, that was like the two things that I bought that day. And I did get my 20% off on all of this stuff at the park, um, for my DVC discount. I love these, but I wish I knew someone that was like really handy. Um, I don't think it's even worth it, but the post for these earrings are is on one of the Mickey ears instead of like on like the center of the back. So they kind of tend to tilt. They're just these little, they're going to be really hard to see you guys. Let me see if I can't go like this. So they're a little pearl earring. I know my nail got broken today. It's a little pearl earring and then it's wearing like a little Mickey hat. Can you guys kind of see that? Isn't that so cute? But again, the post is on one of the Mickey ears. And it's gonna be like impossible to try and see these, but I thought these were really cute. The design is not that great. I know they will probably fix that and then I'll buy the new ones. But you guys, I loved these. And like little pearls and like little silver. Yes, like that is me. I did, because they're so little, I just have like these little extra jewelry bags. I just put them in there because like I said, I, I bought them my first day. Like I was off the plane for like three hours and I bought these and they were instantly on my ears. If you guys don't know this, I have two kids at time of filming they are five my daughter's about to be six and on the 5th of July and then my son is eight he's not gonna be nine until December so she loves 101 Dalmatians and she tends to call them domino dogs I don't know why she calls them that but I knew she wanted a stuffy or something like this so they that's what they kind of told me that they wanted is they wanted a stuffy um, and they also had two little action figure things. I didn't think that would be as fun for you guys. But you can see some of like the plushes. I love plushes. There's something about Disney plushes that are so soft. Like I think they are like I would sleep with these like easy. But I thought he was super, super cute. We have the pool one of this. Um, and he's super, super fun. And then my son loves Guardians of the Galaxy. He loves Marvel's Avengers, all of that stuff. And so he loves Groot. So this little Groot, I thought was super fun. And he is so soft, you guys. Like the, I'm telling you, the plushes are worth double because they're so soft. And just something like this, like you can shove this anywhere in a bag and they won't, I mean, they're just gonna pop back up. Um, so this was easy for me to bring home. And like I said, they both got little action figures um, too. But yeah, this I thought was super cute. Okay, I did find this other shirt. I honestly might wear this to the park. I liked the color. And I'm all about like the vintage t-shirts lately. I am excited when we go back to like, that's probably, I was trying to like decide. I'm like, all right, there's gonna be a ton of new merchandise, but like t-shirts tend to last a while. Like their t-shirts like, they stick around so especially now 
So I wanted to pick out some now, some later. It was a gamble, but I thought this one was really, really cute. It's kind of like a vintage Disney World shirt, um, but I loved the like little screen print on here. I thought all of his little friends and the car and everything, and this I thought would be just super cute with some shorts. Um, and I'd probably wear this to the parks. It is a little, not thicker material, but it's a nicer quality t-shirt. Like I will say, it's not, like this one is like pretty thin and like it's super, super soft, uh, but it's more thin and lightweight where this one is gonna be like a little step up of quality. Um, but I mean this one, I think it's the same price. No, this is a little bit more. So this one was $36.99 where the other one was $24.99. So that does make sense. Um, I went to a large because I don't like things touching me. I'm kind of a medium. Um, I don't like things touching me. So I, especially in these sweaty parks and the people touch you. I mean, they bump into you and we're all sweaty and hot. I mean, we all don't smell, but still. We, I don't like it clinging to me. So I'm always gonna go up in a size. Um, I do believe this one is also the 100% cotton. Yes, it's 100% cotton. So this one will shrink a little bit too. So I do tend to still go to my larger size if it doesn't work you know i'll just wear it for around the house but i thought this was a great one into the big one i got my little knife handy here's the deal with this i wish i would have done this years ago okay so it all goes when you ship things from the parks now it, it doesn't mean that you have to do it on the parks you can go ahead if you're there for two weeks let's say okay and you bring everything back to your resort right now they are still which Gosh, I wish they would bring this back. I can't wait till they have. I think it's just casting. They just don't have enough cast members right now to, and that's gonna be probably one of the last things to where you go to buy something in the parks and they'll bring it back to your resort or they'll at least bring it and hold it for you in the front of the parks. And then when you're leaving the parks, they can you can pick it up. Um, so you're having to carry everything in the parks right now, which is fine. If you don't know any better, goodness is coming. But what you can do is let's say you're there for two weeks and you buy one item every other day okay or you bought a ton of things and you're like where am i doing this they can go ahead and ship it for you let's say you bought twenty thousand dollars worth of merchandise it maxes out at forty dollars of shipping maxes out it all goes by how much you spent um with all of your receipts and everything it's all gonna go by that and you'll need all your receipts for everything but they're gonna go ahead and ship everything for you in like one box so if you're staying on property and you go to one of the merchandise locations, you can be like, hey, I need to ship all of these things. Okay, no problem. So I don't remember what I spent. I believe all my receipts are in here and then I will show you guys of how much I spent. And I believe my shipping was like $12 or $17. I Had I known this, I ended up doing this in Hollywood Studios on our last day. I believe that's gonna be in the vlogs. This was a game changer and there's more um, my exact pricing, I know I talked about it in those vlogs, but I, I think it's all in this box. Um, the box was a little dented and it does have a fragile thing on here because you guys can see, I only have a couple things on this shelf. This is going to be my Disney shelf. This, when I watch um, some of like the other Disney YouTubers and they show merchandise and content, one of my favorite things besides them one of my favorite things is getting to see all of their little tchotchkes and like knickknacks of all the things that they have displayed behind them. And it's all of the memories and the trips and everything. So I got started with these two. This is on our first two cruises that we went to. This was on our first one. We were on the Disney Dream and this was us at Castaway Key. And then this one I believe is us going on the Disney Wonder. Uh, this was last September. And then this one was um, out of Galveston. This was Port Canaveral. We went on a four night on the Disney Dream and went to Castaway, and it was a two day Castaway. And then this one was another four night out of Galveston, which is close to us. Um, and we went to Mexico, like Cosmo or something like that. Um, yeah. And that was in last December. So we're due. We're like, we're like itching. Disney Cruise is amazing. You guys will eventually get to see some Disney Cruise Line stuff because even my husband is like, I love it. So let's go ahead and get started with the box though. Okay, I went ahead and opened it all up and you can see they packaged it pretty good. I mean, you can see there's plenty of stuffing and everything. Okay, see the receipt. Okay, and I will always wear ears. 
know that that is going to be part of my collection. I'm gonna have like a little feature. I will do probably a video of my ears and my collections. And I also have already decided too with my giveaways, I'm probably gonna have to add in some of my ears because I'm overflowing and my husband is already wanting to cut me off. So I have to spread the love to you guys before that happens because I want to keep collecting ears. So I'm always gonna wear ears in my videos and I didn't wear ears because I knew I bought these and they are amazing. I'm cutting the tags off of them right now because I was shooketh like the second I saw that they even had these because I'm like, what? Like I didn't even have them. You guys, I love these ears. I have wanted these ears. They went so fast What last year when I think when these came out. The fact that they got these, yes, I am having them. They're so comfortable. They're like velvet all through here and then they have like a nice little roping and then the tassels. Let me take them off and I can actually show you them. Okay, then they have like the little tassel and then a Hollywood Tower of Terror, the little initials right here. And then the new ears, you guys, come with this like velvet plush. The new ones are so comfortable. Also, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys cut this off? I don't know why I don't cut it off, but I, I don't cut it off. I'm considering cutting it off because like my Disneyland ones, I have to like wrap them around there. Okay, so let's look at the goods. Oh, I, I do remember more about it, Bonnie. Okay. Okay, so you filled out this paperwork and you put your name, your number, your address, and your email. And it was ground delivery. And I don't see a price. <laughs> I will go ahead and add that to the info box here. Um, I'll go ahead and add on the price to the info box. I want to say it was either $12 or $17. If you don't want to look at the info box, wait until the Hollywood Studios vlog because it's definitely going to be in there. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And then, okay, I got a little bone bag and I thought this was adorable. Like, I don't know how often I'm actually going to be using this, but it was super inexpensive. It was, okay, it was $29.99. But I love this. <laughs> I thought this was like super, it was authentically Disney, as Bob Iger would put it. It is really, really cool. It's got all these different icons. It says Walt Disney World. And then look at all the different stuff. And then, and then, look at this. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'd have it. If the whole bag was more covered in this, I would be like, oh, it would be awesome. But this I thought was really, really cool. It was $29.99. And I think with the discount, I mean, it was 20% off of that. So it was really, really cool. So that would have been like $6 off. But still, it was awesome. And then look at, it has even a little compartment, like a zipper compartment. So if you are an any pass holder or if you don't do magic bands or anything and you don't want to do magic mobile and you have like the actual, your room key that has like your park tickets and everything on there, you can do all of that on here and have that in that little pocket. And then I did try this on. Okay, not even my Lululemon one, the one that you guys have been seeing me wear. The buckle is in the back. So when you wear it, your buckle is not showing. Um, does this not fit like perfectly? I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure that was my whole thought process when I bought this, but I really liked it. I'm like, even if it's like just for the pool or my daughter, because my daughter wants one so bad, like this is this is, like yeah, I have to have this. Okay, what is this here? I think I remember some of these things. They wrap it wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My husband's gonna be like, a mug, another one you have. We have a whole cover that's literally all mugs. But tell me this one is not so pretty, you guys. <gasps> is that not so pretty? Look at it, it's like classic Mickey. There we go, classic Mickey. It has got the Disney World D and then the castle. And then look at the little gold rim. Yes, yes. Is that not so pretty? I'm not a mug person, but I had to have this. Was at this, this I on. We're gonna add it right here for right now. We're gonna add it to our collection. I might not even use it because it's so pretty. Yeah, th there's more than three. <laughs> I did bring scissors just in case, because I'm like, oh, I'm sure there's gonna be so much I need to unwrap. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Uh huh. Okay, so I. I always thought it'd be cool to have a travel tree, like a travel Christmas tree, okay? And there are some things that, like for every trip that our family goes on or I go on or my husband goes on, 
usually with our family we get an ornament and I thought this one was really really pretty so I got this one and it's got Mickey there on top and it says Disney World 2022 with the castle the fireworks and then go bling or go home but then look at also the parks on the back like it has all the icons of all the parks is that not so cute? So these are again like super inexpensive. This is $26.99. And then like I said, I got I got 20% off of all of this. Um, but this is just something to just add a quick little like um what am I trying to say here? Brain fart. What is it when you buy something like a chotch key from a trip? A souvenir thank you I had to go, like yell to my husband a souvenir it's a it's a good little inexpensive souvenir um, that you can get and I am having a whole Christmas wait till Christmas time you guys I'm gonna have a whole Christmas tree of all of our trips and 99% of the ornaments on there are Disney but I don't even care it's my happy place it's my home technically it's our second home so I I love this I might get like a little holder of our like favorite ornaments of the time yes yes will that actually stay up no Okay, we'll try that for right now. Just something, you guys. There is a biggie in here. Yeah, it's time for the biggie. Oh no. You guys, it might be broken. I think it's broken, you guys. Grab. So this is completely busted. You guys, I could honestly cry. As I was sitting here, I could like feel something like scratchy on me. This I wanted so bad. This I was really hoping. Ugh. I can't believe this is busted. All right, let me try and put this back in here because it's glass. This is the whole hint that it, I shipped it because I knew I was never gonna bring it home. Oh my gosh, it is busted. Well, you can kind of see part of it. This was a giant cookie jar, it was $60, um, and it was Spaceship Earth. I thought it'd be really cool sitting on here and just to have like, it was a cookie jar, so it's gonna be able to like hold all of our little things. Uh, I don't even know, because I waited so long, you guys, to open this, I don't even know if I can have it replaced at this point I don't really know I don't really want to get cut yeah you can see it's like busted like I don't even know how to like show you guys it's just like you can kind of get the idea of it. I mean, it was really, really cool. That's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated on that. I feel like I cry because I saw someone else get this and I'm like, I was like dying to get it. And now they have a castle one too and I'm really hoping I can get the castle one, but I'm I'm devastated and I'm really worried about breaking myself or cutting myself. But, okay, we're gonna keep it going. I mean, these things happen. The thing is, is like, this is Disney we're talking about here, and I paid for them to do all the shipping and everything. So I will go ahead, um, returns, exchanges, refunds, merchandise, guest services. Yeah, there's a number on here. So if you guys ever have this problem, the number is 877-560-6477. Um, and that's for returns, refunds, and exchanges on merchandise, guest services for Disney parks. Um, it's right on here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sad, but let's keep let's keep the positivity going. Let's go ahead and reframe, and let me show you some of the goodies that I've got. 
here at home that I'm gonna be bringing to the parks. I got these a little bit ago, and I don't know if you're gonna still be able to find them. If I can still find them or something like them, I'm gonna go ahead and link them down below for you guys. But our next trip in July, we're going so long, excuse me, we're going for so long, and um, because we're going for so long, and air for the way it is, and there's five of us going this time, because I talked to my mom into going with us, especially since this is our first DVC trip. With DVC, you don't pay for parking, you know, at the resort, you don't pay for parking at the parks, obviously. You don't really pay for parking anywhere, and with the buses, and it's July? <laughs> The buses are gonna be a wait. So I thought this would be a prime opportunity for us to go ahead and drive. It's like a 14 hour drive. And we did it in September on this trip when we went to Castaway because there were two hurricanes. There was a hurricane coming off of the Bahamas and there was a hurricane um, that was coming into the Gulf and we live in Texas by the Gulf. So we ended up, our flights, we were supposed to fly home on like Monday um, and they got pushed all the way back to the, like the very end of the week, like Thursday or Friday. So we're like, we can't stay at Disney World that much longer. We need to get home because we've already, we did a land and sea and then land again. We needed to drive home. So that was a long trip and we were unprepared. So I'm trying to get us prepared. And so that's why I got this for the kids. It has a little sleep mask, it has like a little neck pillow, and then it has a fun blanket. Do I think they need this? No, but it was like $20 at Sam's Club, so I'm excited to bring this. I'm excited for them to use this, um, and even if it's like a one-time use, which I don't think it will be, um, I think they're really going to enjoy this. My biggest thing that I thought would be great were the sleep mask and the neck pillow, because even if us as adults use it, I think that's gonna be definitely key. But yeah, the Mickey one so cute you guys i i think it might be fun and for 20 bucks i didn't think that was bad okay i did get this shirt and you guys sale alert this is now on clearance i told you guys in my animal kingdom video to don't wear white well don't wear a colored red bra or something under it but i thought this would be really cute i don't know if i'm gonna wear it to animal kingdom i think this might be one of the hotel days that we stay at but i thought this was really cute it's just a Lion King t-shirt, just a plain old comfortable t-shirt. I thought it was super inexpensive. It's on clearance now for under $20 at Target. I will go ahead and link this down below. And then for our, I'm looking around making sure this is our last item. <laughs> so we got a mess going on here and some broken mess. Um, the last thing that I always do every time I go to Walmart and even when I'm on walmart.com is I go and look at their pajamas. And you guys, they always have good pajamas, always. Like I always find good Disney pajamas, if I can get this right. And so I got a Winnie the Pooh and a Toy Story one. These are $16.98 for the set. They also come with socks, so if you're a cold feet person, they do come with socks. And I thought this was super fun. I do go to a larger size on this because again, I'm warm, I don't like things clingy, especially when I sleep too. But I thought for a set, I thought these are super cute. I have them in Up. I have them um, in Jack Skellington. I have a ton of these. Um, and even if they only work for a couple times, I mean, they're super inexpensive. This whole set is under $17. So this is a staple, I would say, to get that something easy that you can go ahead and buy now to use later. Um, especially if you go to Disney a lot and you wanna be just fully in the bubble. That's that's one way to do it. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to go ahead and support this channel, support me. Go ahead and give this video a share. Give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to give you guys an update here on the next video of, like, me in front of the camera. I won't be, like, a part of the vlogs or anything. Uh, but I'll go ahead and do, you know, shipping merchandise shipping update. I'll put that in the title of that video so you guys know I have an update to share with you guys um, and it will be in that video and then of course and I will once it's up and everything I will link it in this video below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for the videos to come and all the content to come and the rest of these vlogs from this whole trip. I hope you guys really enjoy them all. Don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn that notification bell on and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!